tomorrow Don't say With Beyonce Don't say Is going to be The show It's the last of American Tour of Beyonce And you better be there or you're gonna miss something Yeah, the day before Beyonce's renaissance Came to its final stop in Kansas City One half of Les Twins, the Ron Bourgeois Felt like he had to convince people to show up to the sold out show. <laughs> Please come. Please come. Because I'm a different man. Tomorrow? Ha. Ha ha. Well, tomorrow, both guys were feeling a little reflective before the show. They each posted this photo with Queen Bee on Instagram, and Larry wrote, Last show, monster. I love you, Beyonce. Jay Z. Hashtag Blue Ivy. And the official Late Twins Instagram page posted a look back at the 55 shows that led up to the last one with the caption, incredible ride on the Renaissance tour tonight. We close it out in Kansas City. Are you ready? A new journey begins. Let's go. And whatever the new journey is that the brothers go on, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a very clear and direct route back to Beyonce. When she's ready to drive, just throw the keys, baby, let's go. Please give it up. She needs both sets of her twins along for the ride. Give it up for my ride or die. The siblings have consistently proven that they are the alien superstar dancers that are worthy of flanking Queen Bee. And supporting her, literally. And one of the standout moments across the tour was a twin chair. After Beyonce sang this line in Cuff It, she sits on top of the very level Lay Twin Chair. And you thought that lyric was dirty. No. <laughs> now I'm interested to see how this moment plays out in the movie because they're going to want to show a bunch of them because they're so great. Maybe they'll do a really quick cut thing like they did with the clothing montage in that first trailer for the European leg of the tour. Now not only was it a great visual, but it was also a great opportunity for Beyonce and the twins to just take it all in. Or great opportunity to play with the material on B's shirt that is feeling the Beyonce fan right now, or just be a fan of Beyonce for a moment. Damn! Or learn to flip your hair back like Beyonce. And this is my favorite one. One of them is going, oh, I'm so exhausted. Doesn't this look difficult? Ugh. Well, the other one's just going, poke, poke, poke. I said it before, but yeah, not many people would feel comfortable enough to do that to Beyonce while she's performing, but they do. Because they've been performing with Beyonce for 12 years now. It was in 2011 for the promo tour of album four that Lay Twins started to prove to Beyonce that they were the best thing she's never had before. Uh -huh. And 12 years of dancing side by side means the connection goes beyond dancing. After the shows in Houston, the third last city of the tour, Laurent wrote on Instagram, the only people I trust in life. Thank you for everything, monster. Blue, blue, grandi, trovit. And clearly that trust goes both ways. During the Renaissance tour, Beyonce saw the Lay Twins got her back, so she can trust them to zip up her back. And they also got her front cover too. Because they're not going to let anything happen to the one that the wrong called the greatest artist of our time. Unbeatable, untouchable, hashtag goat. Look at this That is still a pinned post on his Instagram from August 2021. And yeah, two years after that post, Lay Twins are still Beyonce's pure honey. Not a bad one, come on, I like that one. Yesterday, the guys posted their favorite moments from the final show in Kansas City, and man, they got savage. And goofy for thick. And hyped for one more cuffet chair. Rack, 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 
Clearly the guys love America Has a Problem in the show. <laughs> it's definitely the moment that they have posted on social media more than others across the tour. After posting the bee hug they got as Club Renaissance winded down at an early tour stop, <laughs> the twins included the last one on Sunday too. One's caption for his final Renaissance post was, The world will remember us, Beyonce. Often when people say that, you think, No, they're not. <laughs> like, in the grand, like, timeline that is the world, like, barely a blip with some people. These three, yeah, they're gonna be remembered. <laughs> for what they've done and what they will continue to do on a concert stage. <laughs> It's going to be remembered, it's going to be studied, it's going to be on movie screens in less than two months. <laughs> yeah, do you love that late twins have become a staple in Beyonce's touring life? And do you think that staple will stay attached till the end of time? <laughs>